My name is Rekha Yuthi. I'm from Oracle Business Suite product management team and I'm going hands-on with configuring Oracle Business Suite release 1213 for integrated SOA gateway. The objective of this tutorial is to learn how to configure integrated SOA gateway in Oracle Business Suite release 1213. We'll be following the steps that are documented in my Oracle support note 556540.1. On a high level, the steps include applying certain patches and then executing a TXK script, enabling the AS admin user, and finally verifying the setup. This tutorial is targeted for system administrators and DBAs who know how to patch and maintain EBS system. Before we begin, let me tell you the current state of the EBS instance on which I'm going to perform the setup steps. It's a single node configuration of EBS and it is already at EBS release 12.13 level and the instance is on 10.135 of Oracle application server. Also this EBS has the AD Delta 7 patch set and plus it also has the TXK patch which is mentioned here 23645824. Also this EBS instance does not have any custom auto config templates. Before we begin, note that this video is just for educational purposes and the official document to configure integrated SOA gate release 1213 is my Oracle support note 556540.1. And so if you open the note, it will talk about certain patches which needs to be applied. There are certain application server patches or O patches and then there are EDS patches. Refer patch readme for the instructions and prerequisites. Let's get started with applying the patches. So I source the application environment first. Check status of application services. All services are alive. I will shut them down. Provide apps credentials. Let's check the status again. Now let's source the environment file in 10.13. In the current directory, I have downloaded all the O patches required for configuring ISG. Next, I use in apply option of opatch to apply all the patches in one go. Opatches are applied successfully. Here is a snapshot of readme document of one of the opatches, patch 22839153. As part of the post installation instructions, it talks about deploying PC apps application and setting the class path. Now, these steps are automated by the TXK script, which will be executed in the subsequent section. Now let's apply EBS integrated SOA gateway consolidated patch. The files are extracted to the PTOP directory. Before we apply the patch, we will ensure that the application services are down. Note that at this point, the application tier services are down, but the database and the database listeners are up and running. I'll be using the AD admin tools to enable maintenance mode before applying the patch. Follow the prompts here and provide the response appropriately. Select option 5 to change maintenance mode. Select 1 to enable maintenance mode. Return to main menu and exit AD administration. Now this EBS instance is in maintenance mode. Let's navigate to PTOP where the ISG patch files are extracted. Run AD patch. Follow the prompts here. ISG consolidated patch is successfully applied. Now let's disable maintenance mode. Opt for change maintenance mode here. Select option 2 to disable maintenance mode. Return to main menu. Exit AD administration. Now let's start application to your services. Now let's move to the next step executing TXK script. For that, ensure to source the environment file for applications. Before executing TXK script, we'll have to stop all application tier services. Executing TXK script is mentioned here in the document. Let's use the command. Now let's execute the script. Note that if you don't know the password of OC4J admin, then you would have to reset the password in system and file as mentioned in the document. Now let's run AD auto config to ensure that the changes are propagated. Let's start all application services. Next major step is to enable AS admin user in EBS. 
login as sysadmin. Navigate to user management responsibility. Search for ACE admin user. Click update icon. Ensure that active to field is empty. Click reset password button. Provide new password and click submit. Ensure that AS admin has app schema connect role. You can save the changes. Now we will have to reset the AS admin password in the file system. We will have to provide the one which we provided in the UI. As mentioned in the document, open the system zazen data.xml in OFM. Search the entry for AS admin user in the file and remove the contents for credentials. Enter the password that you provided in EBS user management UI and ensure to prefix it by exclamation mark. Save the changes. Now let's stop the application services and restart it. EPS application services are up and running. We are in the final step. Let's verify ISG setup. As mentioned in the document, let's hit this test query URL from browser. I see test response in the browser and as per the document, the ISG setup seems to have gone through fine. But let's log into the system and try to deploy service. Login as sysadmin or a user who has the role of IRAP administrator. Navigate to integrated SUA gateway responsibility. Click Integration Repository. Click Search. Now let's try to deploy the PLC SQL API HR employee. Click Employee in the search results. Now PLC SQL API can be deployed both as SOAP service and REST service. Now depending upon the requirement, you can actually deploy them as either of them or both of them. Now for this example, um, just to see that the setup has gone through, I'm going to deploy the API HR employee API as both SOAP and REST. Navigate to SOAP web service tab. Click generate. Once the API is generated as a SOAP artifact, now you can select the authentication type and click Deploy. Now the PL SQL API is deployed as a SOAP web service and there is a link to view this still. Next, navigate to REST web service tab. Provide service alias and click Deploy. Now this API is deployed as a REST service as well and the definition is described in a VADL. You can click View VADL. So that concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and if you have any questions, you feel free to reach me.